Remember to stay hydrated, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I plan to carry for the month of September. I'll be featuring a ton of EDC gear in this video, but for now, sit back, relax, and let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and it's already September of 2023. Man, has this entire year just flown by. And I've already put out eight of these monthly pocket dump videos. If you guys are new to my monthly pocket dump series, what I basically do every single month is put together a curated loadout and then showcase some really cool EDC gear. And if you wanna get an idea of what type of gear to put in your pouches or your pockets, I've made an entire playlist showcasing every single one of my monthly pocket dump videos. I think there's about 13 to 15 15 episodes on there now. Huge shout outs to House of Blades for sponsoring this video and we'll dive into that here in just a bit but let's not waste too much of your time and get right into it starting off with my pouch of choice. This month I decided to go with the Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus in this gray wax canvas. Now the Mighty Pouch Plus has a bunch of different variations. The Plus version does have a full loop field on the front side so that way you can customize it with your own Ranger eyes. And as you can tell I went with a Tiffany blue theme so we've got a JRW box logo patch, the Data Crew Reaper. I've got an additional JRW and Co patch here in Tiffany Blue. The Pixel CXG patch as well as the Everyday Minimalist V2 patch and then these Pondium OK and Frowny Face patch. In addition to that customization, I did go ahead and throw on a custom bead and this is the Combat Beads Revolt series that I got at Urban EDC Supply. Now in terms of the back side of the pouch, there is a zip pocket here and I just threw in a few band-aids that way if I do cut myself on accident, I have have something in case of an emergency. Now before we move into the pouch, let's give a quick word for today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by the House of Blades, a premier knife dealer located in Fort Worth, Texas. We had the opportunity to visit House of Blades down at Blade Show, Texas, and man was it absolutely insane. They literally stock any knife that you can possibly think of, anywhere between Chris Reeve knives, Benchmade, Spyderco, ZT, Kershaw, Civivi, Wee knives, you name it and they will probably have it. And if you're into personalizing your own knife or water bottle or whatever it might be, they actually have a crazy laser engraving room that we got to see. These machines cost thousands of dollars, but if you email House of Blades, they'll charge you like 10 to 20 bucks to get your own logo or whatever you want onto that surface. Now, if you plan to get anything from House of Blades, use code EDM for 10% off your entire order. Thank you so much to House of Blades for continuing to support Everyday Minimalists. I wouldn't be able to do what I do for you guys without them, but let's get back to the video. All right, let's crack this bad boy open and show you what's inside. And the first thing that I'm greeted with is my awesome Hank's topographic Hank. I've showcased this specific Hank in multiple videos just because of how nice it is. It's got a microfiber side as well as the topographic pattern. It also has a brass eyelet with a brass bead and I believe this is just the perfect size for pretty much any pouch. Now in terms of how I use my Hanks, I've mentioned it in previous pocket dump videos, but I usually use them for my screens on my phone, my laptop, my computer screens, lenses, as well as cleaning off my knives. On top of that, I use the Hank as a protective wall so that way this gear doesn't just scratch each other when it's in transit. Starting on the left hand side and moving to the right, I've got my pen and this is the Tactile Turn Mini Bolt Action Standard. And I'm using pens all the time whether I'm writing down notes for my future video ideas on a notepad or if I'm signing a receipt. Just having a really nice pen is good especially if you're trying to make a first impression as well. And the Tactile Turn Bolt Action Mini is one of my favorites in the collection just because of its overall size, the ergonomics, it has really nice milled textured grip on it and yeah this pen is just awesome. Moving forward is my flashlight of choice for this month and this is the Prometheus Lights Beta QRV2. This one is in nickel and it is rocking a triple A size lithium ion battery. They don't really recommend a lithium ion batteries. This is a 10440 sized one. Maybe because it's a little bit more powerful than a standard triple A but I like to be able to recharge my batteries. That way I'm not just going through a ton of triple A's. This thing is super versatile and all you have to do is screw on that top cap and then you'll have your illumination. Now this QR Beta V2 is upgraded with a titanium clip and only comes with a brass keychain attachment, but for me personally, I don't like to run my keys super heavy. So having the titanium clip is a little bit better for me. I got this flashlight as well as the clip from Urban EDC Supply. I believe they do have some black, copper, and brass options available. If they are, again, check the link in the description. This thing is a fantastic mini flashlight and I don't think I've featured it in a long time, so it's good to see it 
again. Next to the flashlight is gonna be my bit driver, and this is the Combat Beads Mark II bit driver in titanium. This thing houses a T6, T8, and T10 bit that literally just gets inserted on the handle of the bit driver, and then it is magnetized to the actual bit driver itself. There's been a ton of times where I am the knife maintenance guy, whether my friends want me to take apart their knives and maintenance it, have better actions, or if they want me to sharpen something. I use this thing three to four times a week, and yeah, it is titanium. It is a little bit more expensive, but I like to have nice stuff to match with my other EDC gear. Moving on to the right-hand side, and this right here is my Big Idea Designs Thai EDC Adjustable Wrench. Now, this thing is great for any bolts or small bolts. I actually had to use this to mount my brand Brand new awning to the Forerunner. This one is just great because whatever bolt or nut you have to run, if it's a hex pattern, then you can just adjust it to whatever size you're actually needing. This is a dope little tool. It does have a built-in pocket clip as well, so that way if you're working on something, you can literally just throw it back in your pocket, and then when you need it again, you can just slide it on out and then adjust it to whatever size you need. Big Idea Designs is always coming up with really cool gear, and this is one that I use all the time. Now moving forward, on the backside pocket of the Mighty Pouch Plus, I've got my pry bar, and and this is the serial killer from United by Gear or UBG. This is probably the most interesting piece of gear in this loadout because it's a spoon, a ball opener, and a pry bar all in one. Now you can use this as a backup spoon or you can use it to scrape out whatever it is that you need to with the spoon side. And I just like this piece because it's a really cool conversation starter. Most people don't even know what an EDC pry bar is. So when I pull this thing out, they're like, oh, that's a cute little spoon, but it has a multi-function abilities. Now this thing is made of titanium and it does have a pocket clip built into it. I did try to go over to the UBG website. This was not available at the time, so I'm not sure if they discontinued it, but I'm assuming they will still make some of these. So be sure to follow them on Instagram for updates on this specific titanium pry bar. So the last item in my pouch loadout are going to be my four inch pliers from Knipex. These are the four inch Cobra XS adjustable pliers, and I've used these things a few times. I mainly got this because of Instagram. I'm not going to lie guys you see these things all over the place especially when you're scrolling through gear dumps and yeah i mean it's more of a novelty than anything it's made in germany just a really high caliber pair of mini pliers they do go for about 30 bucks on amazon which is a pretty big number especially if we're talking about this small set of pliers but it does add kind of a cool factor to my edc loadout all right so that's everything inside the pouch let's talk about what's inside my pocket starting off with my wallet this is a brand new wallet sent over by anthony at Redeem Creations Co. He's the owner and founder of the company and he hand makes these leather wallets. Now guys, I'll be real with you. I get a ton of DMs and emails of people asking for me to check out their wallets and I usually decline, but this one right here really spoke to me because of how minimalist at heart it is. It's got this really nice black leather along with gold stitching and that just really matches up with my overall aesthetic that I prefer. So you've got a ton of room for three cards up front. You've got a cash slip, which I don't really care a ton of cash and then usually an ID and another card can fit on the back side. This thing is super minimalistic. It feels great. It smells great. And over time, it's going to take on a really nice patina. Anthony's Maker's Mark is a tree, which I really do love nature. So it just kind of ties together the entire wallet setup. Last but not least is going to be my primary knife. And this is the James brand, the Barnes. Now, this is a super special knife to me because of how minimalistic it is. This thing is sporting M390 blade steel, as well as an integral handle made out of one piece of solid titanium. And what makes that super cool is there's less parts built inside this knife. So I do have a black micarta inlay here on the front show side scale and then on the top as well, which this is the first time I've ever seen micarta on the top of the handle. So this is really nice. And then when you go to grip this thing, it just feels so good. In terms of minimalist design, this thing definitely sits up there in the top five most minimalist knives of all time, in my opinion. I did go ahead and remove the stock lanyard that was on here and then upgraded it with the Tactile Knife Co. Zirconium Bead. But so far it's gotten about a week and a half of pocket time and this thing is amazing. Yes, this thing is close to a $700 knife, but I absolutely adore it. You can just feel the quality and the milling that has gone into this knife. The craftsmanship is insane. Just check out this corner. It's all chamfered down and rounded. Do you know how hard it is to do that with a CNC mill? And on top of that, the packaging for this knife is insane as well. I did a YouTube shorts video on it. If you want to check that out, just go to my shorts tab and you'll be able to see that. But there you guys have it. What I plan 
plan to carry for the month of September. What was your favorite piece of gear that I featured? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you've made it this far, throw me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Throw me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Promise to you, I'll do better next time. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when that next video is live. Thank you guys so much for dropping by and we'll have to catch you on the next one. Peace out.